Hi everyone, that's Dorota Palitska, international nail artist and educator here and today we are going to play with some different technique. Uh, you actually didn't see me uh, doing it before and that's a watercolor flowers. You can have a preview of them in here. Yeah, I will show you a few different uh, types of flowers and a wee bow and I hope you really enjoy learning this technique as well. If you do, let me know in the comments below as I'm looking forward to reading them all. So let's start. I'm going to start um, showing you the flowers which we are going to create just so you can have an idea what to expect because usually the things look like a splash of the color before we are um, making it look nice. We are going to use the Desire Neal Art paints and the color I'm using is a magenta. They are acrylic paints and they are water based so we can easily make a watercolor paints out of it. Uh, and all you have to do it is just add lots of water into it so we can use it for painting. So you can see it, that's our watercolor paint now uh, from the acrylic paints. Uh, and I'm the person uh, which don't like to keep too many products uh, in a drawer because we obviously have no room for all those uh, bits and pieces. So I like to use the existing stuff. Now I'm going to use the watercolor brush. And first of all, we are going to start painting some petals. So I've got some dry wipe because we need to be able to pick up the, the paint. and. Uh, Basically what I'm doing uh, with the first flower is to um, pick up a drop of the paint and then draw the shape of the petal. So it's going to be straight, then going around it, then I've got some dividing line and then going to the other side. Color it in. Once I've got that color in, pick up the water and then I'm going to start absorbing the water from the flower and you can see it we are getting a beautiful watercolor effect and what is happening is on the places where the paint start drying it's kind of leaves the lines uh, so we can even create like a veins inside the flowers so you can see it what a beautiful petal we can create and basically you kind of clean the excess of the paint as many times as you want to achieve the desired results. Okay, so here I wanted the petal to be much, much lighter. Let's paint another petal. So the next petal is going to be maybe for a change, a love heart shape-ish. And I wanted it to overlap the previous one. Color that in, clean the brush, and then start removing the excess of the paint. And again at the edge, as you can see it, the paint has dried and is creating a beautiful border. Also petals which are overlapping are much darker just because uh, we've got two layers of the paint in there. Okay, the next petal is going to be bended a little bit down the way. Wait for it to dry a little bit, clean the brush and then just pick up the paint. I want to actually show you, I hope the camera can catch it. Um, they are some scratches which have been created with the new file. Uh, just in this place there is a scratch, there is a scratch here as well. 
so usually when we doing like a very detailed uh, nail art make sure you don't use too rough buffer because if you do uh, then uh, that will create those scratches and the paint unfortunately will get stuck in those scratches as well okay let's paint another petal so this one we want the similar shape to the first petal and then overlapping it color that in wait for it to dry a little bit you cannot wait too long for it to dry because uh, then you wouldn't um, be able to pick up those uh, excess of the paint and again I've got a beautiful vein inside this petal I wanted it to be much darker on the bottom and a lighter at the edges Let's paint also some small bud. So I want some flower button here. And then I want some flower bud on the bottom as well. And then let's pick up the excess of the paint. This is actually quite awesome and very relaxing technique. And just keep cleaning the excess. we can also uh, make some uh, small petal on the bottom as well just so the design is not too empty but with the watercolor you don't want to overdo it uh, because if you do overdo it it just will look too heavy uh, the painting itself is very delicate and we want to keep the tone of those kind of uh, painting the next paint uh, we will use is a green color because we need to add some detail in there. Okay, so I'm just squeezing out some green, clean the top, and then we are going to paint some green detail. So lots of water in there, mix the paint. Okay, and then we want to make the flower to be held by the green part and same in here okay so we're just painting this green part clean the brush and clean the excess of the paint just so we still got this watercolor tone to it Same in here and in there. Clean those excess. We can make the brush tip to go really, really thin, and that's what I did. And uh, that's why I like uh, also painting with the acrylic paints because the acrylic paints can be really sharp. Like it can make us brush really nice and thin. Okay, let's add some leaf and then remove the excess. So clean the brush well. And get this watercolor effect. another leaf and then clean it okay and um, 
we would just leave this flower the way it is because we want to make it very delicate. So give it a couple seconds for it to dry. It is almost dry. The only place which is uh, wet is those green leaf. Uh, actually, we could add some detail. So let's add more detail. Uh, I'm going to use the D-liner brush and the drop, the tiniest drop ever of the black. Like almost nothing with the green. Basically, I want to have a green which is a touch darker than the basic green which we have used for the flower. And then we are going to add some detail there. This is just perfect. It's hardly visible, but it's making a huge difference. It just gives the sharpness to the design. All those little details really matter. And then we can apply the top coat. So that's the first flower finished. And then I will show you a little bit more complicated one. I think like with any technique, uh, you need to try it a few times uh, to achieve a good results uh, with it. Nothing works. Sorry, I'm too fussy about this top coat. Um, nothing works uh, perfect by the first time. We, we just need to warm up our hand and, and make it work for us. Okay, so let's make a little bit more complicated flower. So this time, this is my bottom of the flower. Color that in. And then remove the excess. Also, I want to remove the excess and keep some vein inside just so it's not like um, one block of the color. So I want some lighter and darker places. Okay, we've got first petal. And then second petal. Color it in. Wait a couple seconds for it to dry. And then we can clean the excess. Okay, we've got another beautiful petal done. Then another one. The only thing is like uh, the shape which you create first, uh, that's the line you will get. So like make sure your outside shape is always the shape you want. Because then the, um, the paint will stay in the tip in those places. Okay, clean it. Again, here the flower has overlap a little bit so we've got those darker place and we've got another beautiful petal now because this flower is kind of like open the middle of the flower is going to be here so we've got on the bottom larger petals and then we want some petal which is going on the side and the one which is on the top is bending on the other side <laughs> hope that makes sense i'm going to show you so the petal here is going down the way Okay, so this petal is down the way. And then I wanted it actually to be darker on the top. So 
So clean the excess. This is actually a flower which I used to paint a lot when I was a child. The shape of this flower. Okay. And then the heart shaped petal here. Okay, because the rest of this petal is behind the first petal, so we cannot see it. And again, I want the bottom to be darker, so I wait a couple seconds for it to, um, for the paint to, to stain the tip. And now I can start removing it. It's almost like a lily flower. Okay, if I want some place more clean, dip in, in the water and just give it a couple more stronger brushes, strokes of the brush uh, to achieve the results. And then the one which is going to be on the bottom. And this is going to be a, just a wee flower bud again. Actually painting a flower bud is always cool because it just fills up a place and uh, let's finish the composition. Then green again. Okay, so we are going to stay in this place. Stay in it. Then the bottom is here. Again, a little bit hidden. It's going to be a decent bottom of the flower. Remove the excess, so we still got the water, um, watercolor effect in there. And then clean the middle. And add another layer of it. Wait for it to dry. In the meantime, add some detail. So again, I've got those black mixed with the green. And just on the one side, I'm making it more visible. Remove the excess of the paint from the middle. And add a couple of the black dots. Now for the dots, I'm going to use some old brush. Um, try to don't use the good brushes like this one has a really nice tip and I don't want to break it. It usually gives you much more beautiful dots, but uh, I really don't want to damage it. So I've got like very old brush and I'm just going to pick up a drop of the black and do a couple of the dots. You want them to be tiny, the smaller the better. And this way we have painted another type of the flower. Wait for it to dry and then we can top coat it. The next thing I'm going to show you is going to be some bowl. So let me clean my hands and then here we will paint some bowl. I 
So first of all, we want to start with the bottom part of the bowl. I'm just pick, picking up my mixture. Run that shape. Okay, so this is a bottom and then a second side exactly the same. You can see it what is happening here on my tip it wasn't buffed properly so the paint is splitting a little bit and with acrylic paints you always paint on the buff surface okay let's clean it and clean the other side. Okay, now let's paint the top of the bowl. So it's going to be a kind of heart shape as well. So heart shape, color that in. and do the same on the other side. So heart shape and color that in. Okay, so we have painted some bow, clean the excess. And now when we're cleaning the excess for this, uh, we want more on the bottom. We can even leave kind of a wee line in the middle and just push this product to the bottom. Okay, do the other side. So this way we have created like a wavy design. See like the brush is almost drinking the paint which we've got in there. Then leave the middle line and go pick up the paint from the top. Okay, now we need to create the middle. So decent rounded shape in the middle, I'll leave it for it to dry a little bit. Swirly part of the ribbon. And for the swirly part, we want the top to be clear, like lighter. Okay, then keep this bottom darker and then lighter again. Remove the excess from the middle only. Try to leave the outside part. Okay, so just absorb it. And then do the other ribbon. Clean the excess. Okay, another layer in the middle. 
and then clean it up. Now let's apply the top coat over this one now. Because it's completely dry. And give it a cure. And then apply the top coat over this one as well. And give it a cure. Okay, I want to also show you uh, the next design, which is going to be more uh, like layered because I want to show you how what is happening when the petals are kind of overlapping, uh, like on this uh, first tip, which I have showed you. But let me just give it a couple scratches to the tip so I have no disaster. <laughs> like the basic steps are really important. Okay, so a flower there, color that in. And then start removing the excess. Let the brush drink it. We've got first petal. Now wait for it to dry and do do the next petal um, leaving the gap in there. And then drink the Excess. Okay, another petal. And then drink the excess. Now we want really large petal going on uh, in between there and overlapping the previous ones. So we can get a really nice and interesting look of the watercolor. So overlap it overlap it color that in okay wait for it to dry a little bit and it will give us really nice and interesting um, results because it's almost it will almost look like this petal on the you can see it through this petal which is on the top Okay, so we can see through it. And then I'm going to add another one in here.
and then finish with the detail. So a small part. Absorb it. D-liner brush, I will make it slightly thinner this time, which looks really pretty with watercolors as well, like for a change to have a slightly stronger line. And then just make it better shape. With the green, green color we will do another button here. Which is going to go... Just there. Then the pink, and this one is even smaller. Thin line. Wait a couple seconds for it to dry. Let me show you what we have created. So we've got some flowers. Top cut over this one. Give it a cure. Then we've got some bowl. So we've got three already. It's actually fun painting with this watercolor. And then the last one. There we are. It looks so nice and pretty. I hope you have learned a lot from this video. Uh, and I'm looking forward to seeing your recreations as well. Sending lots of glittery hugs. <laughs> Bye for now.